Hello, it is the 10th of October. Still October. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're all well um, and everything's going okay for you and all that lovely stuff. Um, I am wearing my heartstring jumper um, that I made last year. Um, it's from a Tin Can Knits uh, pattern book and the designer is actually Hoji Locatelli. Um, basically it's a, the jumpers have all got the same base pattern recipe thing going on, they're all bottom up um, and then they've all got like a different yoke and then there's various other different, you know, sleeve, hem, etc um details as well anyway um yeah i made this last year i like it a lot however it has the neckline is is, is too big um so i'm actually going to um adjust that hopefully fairly soon whenever i get around to it um yeah so that was that um let's see is there something else i was going to say Oh, yeah, just this is um, Tin Coal Merino something something, probably. I'm pretty sure it was Merino blend, Merino something, something something, Merino double knit. That's it, that's where I'm trying to think of. Um, yeah, it's very nice, knitted up well. Um, but yes, I need to adjust the neckline. Um, so moving on to what I was going to say today. I actually, I didn't say the other day because I forgot. Um, I finished doing the knitting part, um, for the forest dragon scarf slash cowl slash loopy thing. Um, and I knit 15 repeats all in all. And that was the good, yeah, that was the, the, maybe I did say so. Anyway, that was a good number. And so then I started to um, pick up the stitches from the original cast on. Well, I've got that far. Um, yes, I have learned a lesson, let's bring that nearer, colours showing up quite well over here, um, yeah, so I've managed to do those few and you can't actually see terribly well where the provisional cast on is because it's quite a blendy any bit of colour there. Um, yes, lesson that I have learned and that I will try and remember going here on out. If you're doing a provisional, <laughs> if knitting a provisional cast on and the very first row of the actual pattern is a lace pattern row. I suspect it might have been more sensible to actually knit, or I guess in this case, purl a row um, in the waist yarn as well before I actually started the uh, the lace bit because I'm having some trouble with the picking up of the stitches. So I have, well, I've put it down. I have put down the picking up. <laughs> um, and I'll just have to see if what I can get sorted out and um, you know put my reading glasses on so I've got a better um, view of what I'm doing and just sit and really concentrate on it for a bit um, and hopefully that will get done sometime soon but you know sometimes sometimes you just have to put it to one side for a bit just to uh, stop stressing out about it 
Yeah. I mean, maybe I'm just maybe I'm just making a mountain out of a molehill or something. But um, yeah, I am concerned that I'm not going to get all the stitches properly picked up. Um, I don't know why I'm just sitting here staring at it while on camera. That's probably, I, I don't know, but maybe if you're sending me good vibes from the future, way in the future, no doubt. Um, well, <laughs> anybody got any tips? Because even by the time you actually see this, I pro it'll probably still be sitting in a bag somewhere. Um, yeah, there must be some way, easier way of doing this. I guess I could ask Yvonne, the designer. That's an idea. I should probably do that. Hmm, was there anything else today? Um, let me just have a think. Well, that was pretty much all I think I had to say today. Um, I'll just I'll just show you the if I don't as long as I don't get myself tangled in. Uh, the wire. No, actually that's not going to work I don't think. Uh, okay, like that. Yeah, that gives you an idea of how long it will be. Um, so that's a... yeah, I'm happy with that length. And now I've got to take this off my head without pulling the stitches out. Yes. Victory! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I shall then sign off for the day. Um, and I think I've got a bit of Archimedes um, ridiculousness or whatever it is he's doing um, to tack on to the end of this for your viewing pleasure and all that. Take care. I hope you're well. Did I say that at the beginning? Maybe I did. I mean it twice as much. <laughs> and I will speak to you tomorrow. Bye. I feel dreadful. Because he's fast asleep. And on my foot. In fact, on both my feet. And I need to stand up stretch. Yeah. I'm gonna have to do a foot straction. Come on. Out it comes. I know. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs>